Good morning traders. Welcome to this week's cryptocurrency market analysis webinar. I hope you all had a great week. Uh, there's been some interesting developments as far as the cryptocurrency market is concerned. We have seen a, the so-called flash crash on Friday. So uh, I'm calling it the so-called flash crash because as far as the Elliott Wave theory is concerned, we do not see that as a flash crash. Instead, we see patterns being built up, whether it is through a spike or a normal candle, that does not really matter. So we will be looking in the market this week to see what patterns are being built uh, with those spikes that we've seen in on Friday. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Before we get started, guys, if you'd like to contact us, check out our contact details under the description of all our videos on YouTube. All right, so you'll find all of that, including our social media pages there, and as well as our brand spanking new website, okay? So our website with all the resources in one place, that's what we've got there. Now, talking about the website, we are running for the next three days uh, a 50% discount special on the lifetime plan. If you want to take advantage of the lifetime plan for the next three days, it's going to be on a 50% a uh, 50% discount for a limited number of people. So you can make an inquiry under this chat box. We are going to put on a discount code under the description of the video. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, inquire with that discount code so that you can take advantage of that. It's for only a limited number of people. Right, so let's get started with the analysis for this week. Let's have a look here at Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrencies. How has that flash crash affected the market or the cryptocurrency market. Let's have a look here. Before we get started, I'm going to look at the charts that we've got. Let's have a look here and uh, the resources so we can have the long-term view on the Bitcoin chart. Let's have a look at it. Right, so let's have a look here on the resources and we look at the instruments and we're going to cryptocurrencies. The most interesting pair this week is Ethereum and you will see why it is one of the most interesting cryptocurrency pairs this week. So let's have a look here, Bitcoin. And as usual, we're going to look at the long-term daily chart. Let's have a look there, the daily. I'm trying to get Bitcoin open there, but well, let's open it here. Let's do that. Right, so that is the Bitcoin chart. I don't want the one hour, I want to see the long-term view. So you've got a weekly chart here. So as you can see here on the weekly, this chart was last done uh, in on the first week of October. So we've been looking for Bitcoin to be pushing up here. Let's get the whole chart on the screen. We've been looking for Bitcoin to be pushing up here with this white cycle degree here, one, two, three, four. So essentially what we are saying here is that we are currently on this leg to the upside. Is that the impulsive leg that we are in? That's what we are, we are looking at. So we've already seen one, two, as you'll see when we go down to the daily, it's important to go through these structures in all these time frames so you can understand what the next move is going to be. Let's have a look at the daily. Now on the daily, you see the detailed one, two, three, four, and five. So is that what is playing out currently? We've already seen this previous high being taken. We've seen new highs at about 68,000. 68, uh, so let's have a look here on the four hour chart as well and see this move here, how that is playing out right so that is uh, the four hour chart now looking at the four hour you've already seen that we've got that wave one here and a two and uh, we've already taken the previous high here at about 68,000. this chart here is on the 29th of november so it's only a one hour old so we were looking for these to continue here to be a continuation pattern here and see the new high but instead if you look at this chart here let's go to the live chart so you can see what is going on here and i'm going to look at the daily on bitcoin here so we can see this there are two things that are going to happen here and we have to look at the whole market holistically and not just bitcoin so we've got this one having made a pulsing move to the downside but for that let's have a look here at what we were looking at we were looking for this to be making five waves from here okay we're looking for this one to be making five waves from here one two three four and a five remember that bigger corrective structures bigger, bigger corrective structure for us to see the five waves here now instead of getting a pulsing move what we're getting here may be a one, two, three waves here. Let's show that in yellow. We've got a move down here in yellow, pulsing move down. We've got a move up here. Looks like three waves. We've just tested the top here 
and we've come back down here. As much as we've read that flash, so-called flash crash here around this level, this may be pulling back for another leg to the downside here. And that is as low as about 31,000 if that is the move that is going to play out. And then we'll look for this. Now, if you look at the rest of the structure, we've one, we've two, we've three, the whole thing here could be a wave four. And then we look for a wave five here as far as Bitcoin is concerned. So, that is the structure that we're looking at here. Now I'm gonna go down into the lower time frame to confirm if that is what is currently happening here now. Let's have a look at the four hour to see what the indicators do. So that looks like a very likely structure to happen. But let's have a look. So we have seen a move down here. One, two, three. We are now pulling back with this. Is this pullback the continuation pull pattern that we're going to see to Bitcoin continue to around the 32,000. So that's what we're gonna be watching out for in this week. So what we're gonna see here mostly is that we're gonna see Bitcoin spend some time here consolidating around this level, push to the upside and make a move to the downside back around the 32,000 level that we're speaking about. Now, the reason why I'm saying Ethereum is quite interesting compared to the rest of the cryptocurrencies is that if Ethereum looks bullish, we know that the market is supposed to move together but uh, what if ethereum is showing more strength than bitcoin in this case look at this structure i'm going to take you from internal structure to the external structure so you can see how interesting this is there's a three-way structure here on ethereum that was a correction for this move so essentially what we've got here on ethereum is an abc corrective structure and that a abc corrective structure looks to have made a zigzag we are now looking for a leg to the upside here a three-way pullback here on Ethereum can see Ethereum see new highs at about 5,600 there and higher. Okay, so that means Bitcoin may also do the same. So if Bitcoin is doing the same, that means it has already completed its three-way structure here as follows. How do we confirm that? Either way, whether we get a confirmation for an entry here, we are going to look to take that trade to the upside on Bitcoin as well as Ethereum. Look, so we are seeing strength uh, across across both Bitcoin and Ethereum. So let's see here. The move to the downside may not happen now. So what we're going to wait for is for it to at least give us a three-wave move. If that three-wave move is a continuation pattern, we'll take it from around this level. So that's how we're looking at those two. That's Ethereum Litecoin. Now Litecoin as well, has it completed a three-wave structure here? Has it completed the three wave structure here? We see a move back here after this flash crash. So we're consolidating around this level. We will see a light coin at least make a move back to around this level. Whether it's gonna make a continuation pattern to the downside, we'll make a decision when we get to around this level. Now. Litecoin structure, just like uh, that of Ripple, is very interesting. Just like Bitcoin, there's a possibility for this to make a complete pulsy move. This is a three-wave structure, a complete pulsy move here to complete like this. That means Litecoin may go as low as around 65,000 before we, we see the next leg up higher. But let's watch the current levels to see if that's going to be a three-wave pullback for a continuation to the downside like that. Same way we had that one here, same way we had this one here. So you see three, three, three across. So we get that one on Litecoin. Let's see. Ripple, I'm going to start Ripple on the daily as well. So you can see the structure on Ripple. Ripple also has the potential to come down as low as this level or it could have completed. Now, let's have a look at the two options that I'm looking at here on Ripple. You see here, we have got a move down in three, a move up in three, and this is a daily chart, a move down here. That seems to have, to have been completed. Why does, why does it look to be, why am I saying that it looks to have completed? We have made a three-way move that flashed to the downside. We are now already at this, around this level. So it looks like this structure is being respected. So we may see $2 being uh, retested on uh, a Ripple and the overall structure will be this one here, the three waves down, this one here, and then we see a move to the upside. So let's see here, we're gonna be watching this area here carefully on Ripple. Let's go down to the four hour and look at that area on the four hour. So the four hour, we've seen the flash to the downside and it looks like that flash has completed the three waves. So we want to see this consolidate and push to the upside. Right, so that is Ripple Dogecoin. Now Dogecoin, let's have a look at the rest on, on the daily chart because that's where the structures are, are the clearest. So Dogecoin has got two possibilities. We've got a move down here 
in three waves. We've got a move back in three, and we've got another move back in three. I'm just going to represent it with a single line like this. Could Dogecoin push a little bit lower to complete this structure, and we'll see more upside. That's how we'll there's a possibility for that. There's another option, however. We're going to wait for this to be confirmed by the indicator where this is actually a three-wave structure, bounces around this level, and we get this. Now, if we get that, that means we've got a structure like this on uh, Dogecoin. And if we've got a structure like that, that means we can have this making a move like this. That would be a W, X, Y corrective structure. We're anticipating this. So either way, just because we've got more than one alternative doesn't mean that we may miss one. Then we've got an indicator that confirms or that uh, disqualifies a move that is not the correct one. Right, so have a look at ADA, also interesting structure. We've got a regular flat there, three waves down, no, three waves up. We've got another three waves to the downside. Could ADA be on its way to the upside? Not yet confirmed as far as the volumes are concerned. We don't have really have the volumes. We've got this, looking at this as a WXY corrective structure. We want to see this break above this level so that we can see the next leg to the upside. That is ADA. And uh, Solana, so we look at Solana. So Solana on the daily, we are building up this corrective structure. One, two, three. Let's see how that one goes. So we're going to see this one push a little bit lower to build up this corrective structure before the next leg to the upside. That is uh, Solana and Binance. Looking interesting Binance because it has also made uh, from here, we have made a one, two, three down, one, two, three up, a five wave move to the downside, a nice ABC corrective structure. It looks like Binance could be showing strength into the new week. Right. And lastly, Shiba Inu. Let's have a look at Shiba. Now, looking at Shiba, very interesting Shiba again. We've got a running flat there. Look at that running flat. That's three waves to the downside. Pull back in three, move down in three. Shiba is already here, a consolidation here, and a straight setup here. We'll see Shiba test the recent highs at about 0 0.009. Okay, so that is looking pretty good on Shiba, and that will be a nice W, X, Y corrective structure. Break above this, we'll see even more highs on Shiba. That's all I have for you this week, guys. Trade responsibly. Give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Drop us a comment, and uh, also subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Uh, also hit that bell notification button so you can get an alert next time we upload a video. And don't forget to check out that discount code under the description of the video. Have a great week, everybody. I will see you next week. Cheers. Bye-bye.